is Tamara at mooglyblog.com and in this video I'm going to demonstrate twisted double crochet stitches as well as talk about some other twisted variations. For this video I'll be using Lion Brand Yarns Woolies Chunky in one of the tonal colorways, so keep an eye out for those if you haven't seen them yet, and I'll be using a Furls K hook, one of their heirloom wooden hooks. So what I have here is just some loose yarn, as well as a row of single crochets to give me something to work solid into. Uh, when you're working twisted stitches, the row that you're working into could be any stitch you like. Could even just be a chain, but I like to have something a little more solid for demonstration purposes. Twisted stitches in this style are typically done as the last row or as a decorative row um, with the work continuing behind it. Maybe the first row back, or excuse me, uh, front loop, back loop is how you get around that. But if you work into a twisted stitch, it tends to hide the cool look. What am I talking about? Let me show you. I'm going to start like a regular double crochet. I'll yarn over, go into the stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. So far, just a normal double crochet, but this is where I put in the twist. I'm going to literally spin the hook, like so, and then yarn over and pull through those two loops. So when you're doing this, you want to make sure those last two loops that were left on the hook aren't too tight or you'll have trouble pulling back through. Let's do it again. I'm going to yarn over, like so, go into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, get my two loops left on the hook a little bit loose there, spin my hook around, yarn over, and pull through two. Now let's do that one more time so we can see how they look when you get a few of them in a row. Start my standard double crochet, stop with two loops left on the hook, spin the hook, yarn over, and pull through those last two loops to finish it off. Now, I'm going to pull that loop up a little bigger so I can take the hook out. You can see we've got three of these twisted double crochets. When I pull them apart, it helps def define the stitch a little bit so it's easier to see. And the effect you get is sort of like a reverse single crochet, also known as the crab stitch. That stitch is, of course, usually worked with single crochet. And if you want to use um, make a twisted single crochet, I do have another video for that, uh, which I will link. But for this one, the, the double crochet, you can get that reverse look in a taller stitch. So that's really handy. Um, now, I've had people ask me, can you do this with half double crochet? Well, you can, but let me show you what happens. I'm going to go into the next stitch here. Now, normally with a half double crochet, you yarn over and pull through all three loops. So I would have to stop with three loops left on the hook. So if I twist them here, which can get a little tight, something about that third loop makes it really tight to get through. There we are, pull through that one. Let me compare it to a twisted single crochet. Where you have just the two loops and you pull over. You can see that a twisted half double crochet and a twisted single crochet are essentially identical. Um, the half double crochet is a little bit thicker because of that extra loop, but otherwise they look about the same. So to me, doing a twisted half double crochet isn't, I'm not terribly, I don't feel like that's something I would need to do because I can get the same look with a single crochet and use a little bit less yarn, but you can certainly give it a try if you want. If you really want to use a uh, half double crochet stitches and still put the twist in, a great option would be a twisted herringbone half double crochet. Bit of a mouthful, but let me show you. We're going to start like a normal herringbone half double crochet where we yarn over, go into the next stitch, pull up a loop, and then we're going to pull that loop directly through that first loop there. So at that point we just have our two loops left on the hook. Normally for a herringbone half double crochet I'd yarn over and pull through, but instead here I'll stop, add the twist, and pull through, and so you get a little bit different look there. Now again, this twisted technique, anytime you end up with just two loops left on the hook, or even three if you really want to get wild with it, then you can add this twisted technique to it. I could do this with a post stitch. Yarn over, go around, work it off until I've got those two loops left on the hook, add the twist, pull through, got a little bit caught on that one, there we go, and I've got a twisted post stitch. 
So really, um, and it, you can keep going up. You do this with treble crochet, quadruple crochet, as long as you can get it down to those last couple loops left on the hook, add the twist then, you can really have some fun with it. So that's how you make twisted double crochets and a few others. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a like, uh, subscribe to our channel, share it with your friends. We'd love to hear what you think. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you.